What's up guys, I'm Brandon 10K, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a Premiere tutorial and this is going to be part of a longer series where I show you guys editing tips and tricks in Premiere. These videos are intentionally going to be very short and to the point to help you guys with your editing. This episode I'm going to show you guys how to do the mass transition, which is using a lot of film and it's very easy to do. So let's jump into it, I'm going to start off by showing you guys an example. So this is a clip from my Puppy on an Adventure video, which is on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. First I'll just play the clip and see if you guys notice anything. <laughs> So if you guys notice, the puppy starts here on a field walking down a path, and then this tire comes in front of the frame and then ends up in a parking lot. So what's happening here, there's actually two clips, one with the puppy walking on the trail from right to left, and then another clip with the camera going from right to left with the tire and the car in the parking lot. So basically there's two clips, one with the car and the tire, and then the other one with the puppy walking up the trail behind it. And basically you mask out the front one so it reveals the puppy walking behind it. It is also very important to note that in both clips the camera is moving from right to left and I'll tell you why that's important later. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere and I'll show you guys how this is done. Okay so I shot two very simple clips around my house. The first one being this one which is my kitchen and then it goes from left to right. And then I have another clip outside also moving from left to right. I also have the final result right here. So as you can see when the camera moves from left to right this is now outside, which was originally the living room. So this area all right here is masked out from the living room clip. So first what you want to do is figure out which clip is going to be overlaid on top and is also going to be the one that is going to be masked out. So for this example, it's going to be the living room clip. You would move it up on top and then move the other clip beneath it. So when you play back the video, this top clip has higher priority and the one beneath it will not be shown until you get to the end here where the clip stops and then it would show this one. So now for the masking. Make sure you have your clip selected and click under the opacity tab, any one of these. So a lot of people use the free draw tool, but I prefer to use the uh, square tool, especially if you're working with straight edges like this wall right here. Um, sometimes the free draw tool can cause you problems. There's little handlebar things which will cause your mask to have curves which I do not want any curves for this example because there is a straight line here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the square tool. And as you can see, it already masked out everything on the outside and we want to invert this. So as you can see, we have the outdoor area inside of the mask and then the indoor area on the outside of the mask. So what we're going to do is move this mask over and off of the frame. So let me just move this like this really quick. So for this example, I'm going to want my mask outside of the playback area, which is this whole area here. So next I'm going to move my video to where this corner right here is all the way just barely outside of this playback area. So you can use the arrow keys to move along frame by frame to get it just right. So as you can see right here is where the whole entire wall is now off of the playback area. So next what we're going to do is click on this little stopwatch icon right next to the mask path area. So this will make keyframes for you. And basically what keyframes do is it stores the information of where this mask is according to where your video playback is at. So I'll show you when I click this and click on mask again to show the mask. So basically when it gets to this point right here on this keyframe, wherever you have the mask set up, it'll be saved to this keyframe. So next what we want to do is move the video along a couple frames ahead and then we're going to move our mask to be along with this edge once again. You're going to grab the edges right here on these little corners and move it till it's just perfect. Make sure you line it up as close as possible and that looks pretty good. So as you can see it created another keyframe here at this point. Then we're going to move a couple more frames once again. If you have the problem where your mask is going off the screen come down here to fit and I'm going to move it to 25. You can even go smaller than that, just enough to where you can see your whole entire mask. So once again, we're gonna move the mask to line up with this edge, like that, and like that. And this is basically all you do, and you move along bit by bit to make sure you go all the way across following that wall. So I'll do a couple more, move a couple frames ahead, then move the points. Try to get as close as possible, and again, move your clip a couple frames ahead and move your mask. 
I'll play the rest in fast motion and you guys can watch as I go all the way across from right to left moving this mask until the mask covers the whole entire screen. All right, so it's almost done. And you guys may have noticed I was fixing this point right here, which was too low and it was revealing a little bit on the top corner here. If you guys need to move from keyframe to keyframe, you can use these little arrow keys here and it'll move in between the keyframes. So now we're at the end here and always make sure you keep on going a couple more frames ahead and you make sure your mask completely goes around your entire playback area. So what you're left with here is just the outside video. So now we can move the video very slowly and just check that edge to make sure everything's good. There's a couple spots here where I can see down here there's a little bit showing, but you can fix that later going through all your key points and adjusting them to make sure they're up against that wall. Another thing you can do to hide your mistakes, you can go to the mask feather area here and adjust this and move it up a little bit. So this will make the edges of your mask get a little more blurrier and it can hide some of your mistakes. Also, there's mask extension. If you want to move all of the edges of your mask outwards or inwards, you can adjust this. So as you can see, if I move it up, it makes the whole entire mask larger. I'll just show the mask here. And then if you go down, it'll make it smaller. So sometimes if you're not quite at the edge, you can move this up a tiny bit and it can hide some of your mistakes. Let's just do a final playback here. And it looks all right. Still the edge is a little bit weird in the bottom. And ideally you'd want to go frame by frame by frame. I was jumping ahead like five frames every time I made a new keyframe, but ideally you want to go every single frame and adjust your mask along that edge to get it just perfect. But for the sake of this tutorial, this should be good enough. Now, as you can see, this is why it's important to have both of your clips moving in the same direction. If you have one clip going from facing downwards to facing upwards, then you would do the same for the other clip because if you had this clip going the opposite direction, it wouldn't look natural when you transition from clip to clip. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope that wasn't too confusing and I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these tutorials. This was just a beginner trick and I know a lot of stuff in Lightroom, Premiere, and Photoshop. So let me know if you guys want to see something in specific for each one of those programs. If you guys want to see more content or have any questions, you can hit me up on my Instagram. And if you guys like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.